Hello students, welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Dr. Debal Chandra Kar from Ambedkar University, Delhi. Today, we are going to talk on module DelNet from paper information and communication technology in library and information science. So students, after completing this module, you will be able to understand what is DelNet why DELNET has been established and objectives of the DELNET. Total number of members presently have DELNET and what are the service provided by the DELNET to its member libraries. Also, we will come to know what are the activities of the DELNET. The world has been witnessing a knowledge and information explosion during the past few decades. Over 10 million journals, articles are published every year besides news items, editorials, articles that are appearing in popular print media. Access to information holds the key to development. Libraries, which are storehouses of knowledge and information and information centers which disseminate knowledge and information forms two important components of present day of society. While there is a deluge of information on one hand, the cost of collecting, processing, storing and disseminating information had been spiraling up on the other hands. Information buying power of libraries had been declining year after year. Because of this, resource sharing and cooperative functioning through networking had become inescapable for libraries and information centers worldwide. India is no exceptions. For that matter, it was even more necessary to network libraries in newly developing countries like India than in the developed nations. Efficient resource sharing can be achieved by using the recent advances in information technology for realizing a network of libraries. Information technology signifies the coming together of the discipline of electronics, computer hardware, and software, communications, in particular telecommunications, artificial intelligence, and human-machine interface. During 1990s, library and information activities in the country have entered a new era. Individual libraries are coming out of the proverbial Berlin Wall around them. They are trying to form a large community in an effort to tackle the ever-increasing demands for better services qualitatively and quantitatively in an environment already overstained by financial pressures, forced activated, motivated or logic driven the librarians are coming out of their shelves in large numbers. This has resulted in discernible change in the information scenario. Indian information professionals, education specialists and scientists had realized that the item has come to share the information resources and coordinate mechanisms. This had resulted in discernible change participant site. It was also common to find an institution participated in more than one network. The ultimate goal of information library network is to underlink information resources in a metropolitan area. So the users could access the information irrespective of its location, format, medium, language, 
scripts, etc. Further, the development of such networks required actions in several areas such as training, realizations of information resource acquisition, diffusion of standards, preparations of union list, generation of database services apart from setting of hardware, software and communication facilities. There are the pictorial view of Delnet building at JNU campus. Previously it was in IIC, India International Centre, Lodi Road. Now it has been moved to its own building. A large number of library resource sharing networks like the metropolitan area networks such as Calibnet which was in Calcutta, Delnet in Delhi, Bonnet in Bombay which is now called Mumbai, Punet in Pune, Malibnet in Madras, Hailibnet in Hyderabad, Adnet in Ahmedabad, Mylibnet in Mysore and countrywide ones like Arnet educational and research institutions, Sarnet, it was CSIR laboratories and Inflibnet, universities and resources institutions and sectoral ones like Bitnet, biotechnology networks etc. were conceptualized. The concept of library networking to aid information resource sharing and support activities in libraries had become a real necessity. The shortcoming observed were mainly related to two aspects, non-availability of materials and services and efficient administrative control. To overcome the shortcoming, library networking concept is come into existence. Towards library networking activities in India, NISAT had taken the initiative for promoting resource sharing activities. NISAT has extended by setting up general infrastructural facilities like network service center including hardware, software, manpower and other organizational requirements, communication facilities, etc. With a change in development and implementation strategy, the participating institutions in a network are to arrange the other terminal hardware, software, manpower and data conversion. Delnet, Delhi Library Network, which is now called Developing Library Network, was started at the India International Centre Library in January 1988 and was registered as a society in 1992. It was initially supported by the National Information Systems for Science and Technology, NISART, Department of Scientific and Industrial Research, Government of India. It was subsequently supported by the National Informatic Center, Department of Information Technology, Ministry of Communication and Information Technology, Government of India and Ministry of Culture, Government of India. Now, this Delnet is called Delhi Development Library Network. Delnet members has grown and now it's nearing to 5,000 members around the world. Presently, it has 4,730 members libraries in India and 24 in overseas countries. Total member is 4,754 as of today. Database records of Delnet includes Union Catalog of Books, Union List of Current Periodicals, Union Catalog of Periodicals, Periodical Articles, CD-ROM, Recording of Video, Sound Recording, Thesis and Dissertations, and eBooks. Presently, it is union catalog of books of 1 crore 81 lakh 51,784. Union list of current periodicals has 36,940. Union catalog of periodicals 
has 20,235 records. Database of periodical article has 9,22,042. CD-ROM databases has 22,234. Union list of video recording is about 6,000. Union list of sound recording is about 1,000. Database of thesis and dissertations at 70,293. Databases of ebooks 1,613. The objective of DELNET includes promoting and sharing of resources among the libraries by developing a network of libraries, by collecting, storing and disseminating information, by offering computerized services to the users and its member libraries. It undertakes the scientific research in the area of information science and technology, create a new systems in the field, apply the results of research and publish them. DELNET also offer technical guidance to the member libraries on collecting, storing, sharing and disseminating information. It coordinates efforts for suitable collection development and reduce necessary duplication wherever possible and facilitated the establishment of referral and research centers and maintain a central online union catalog of books, serials and non-book materials of all the participating libraries. Delnet also facilitate and promote delivery of documents manually and mechanically and develop specialized bibliographic database of books, serials and non-book materials. It develop databases of projects, specialists and institutions and processes and maintain electronic mechanical equipment for speedy communication of information and delivery of electronic mail. DELNET also coordinate with other regional, national and international networks and libraries for exchange of information and documents. DELNET provide access to various online resources on consortia basis like Cambridge Dictionaries Online, Network Digital Library of Theses and Dissertations, Online Dictionary of Library and Information Science, GIST NIC databases, Medline and other databases of NML. It also provides access to US patents, full text medical journals, open access journals, engineering and technology e-journals, table of contents, full text medical books, full text of engineering and technology e-journals, e-learning resources of LIS professionals and digital libraries of the world. The database of DELNET have union catalog of books which maintains an online union catalog of books available in its member libraries. Its information can be retrieved by author, title, subject, conference, series, etc. It has 1 crore 62 lakh 59,492 bibliographic records. The nearest for interlibrary loan can be placed through the online system. It also has union lists of current periodicals in science and technology, social sciences and humanities. It's now list 35,990 periodicals and it's regularly updated and new titles are added annually. It is a major resource of document delivery services. Similarly, it has union catalog of periodicals which contains full holdings of database of libraries. At present, the database contains 22,235 records. The DELNET database has details of articles which can be searched under the title, author, compiler, name of periodicals and subject. 
the database is being extensively utilized by the researchers and scholars. At present, the database contains 9,22,042 records. It also has a bibliographic database of CD-ROMs available with the member libraries. It is being compiled with 22,234 records. A database of video cassettes is also available in Delnet member libraries and has about 6,000 listings. Similarly, the union list consists of audio cassettes record available in member libraries is available with 1,025 records. Delnet database also covers theses and dissertations submitted to Indian universities has been started now, which covers various subjects. The database has 70,293 records. It has database has 70 records and contains information about the newspapers, including the title, name of the editor, published from, email address, and also the web address of the internet edition, if available on the www. Finally, it has database of ebooks with 1613 records. Last not least, it has a directory of member libraries is available and contains information about them. So with these records, individual libraries can also contact between them. This is the homepage of Delnet at www.delnet.nic.in. This portal has been supported by NIC and developed by NIC website. This is a Delnet online service web page of member libraries. The username and password is required to get access to the database of Delnet. And through this user, any member of the member libraries can access this Delnet databases and search the required documents or information they required. This is a home page of Delnet database giving access to all the database searches. So you can choose here what are the databases you want to choose, what are the available with the Delnet. You can see here and you can search through for your requirement. At this page, the member libraries can search the union catalog of books. That means all the member libraries can search the required databases available with the Delnet or all the member countries catalogs can be searched through this union catalog of books. And if you need any books, you can search here and can make necessary request and that books Delnet will arrange to your particular library or to your desk through their Delnet services. This slide shows the result of Delnet database of books giving the location of books available in the last column. As we have seen in the last slide that Delnet books which are available with the member libraries can be searched through Delnet and one search you can see here by displaying the who, what, li what books are available in which library and you can choose that available libraries and you can see what are the books available in which libraries. In the last two slide, you have seen the union catalog of books available in Delnet member libraries. One search, you can see which books are available in which libraries. And by this website, you can see the bibliographical details of the particular books and availability in the libraries. Delnet offers interlibrary loan and document delivery services to its member libraries. ILL request can be registered online for books for the resource not available in the union catalogs and journals article. Request can be sent to Delnet through email. Delnet has also prepared ILL guidelines for use of the member libraries.
In the previous three slides, we also have shown the, how you search the union catalogs of Delnet of the member libraries collection and after searching if you think that these books are is not available in your library but want to interlibrary loan then you can online send the request to Delnet and Delnet will deliver that books to your library. This is the interlibrary loan form which can be filled for requesting a book from the member library through Delnet. Delnet provides training in the use of Koha, an open source integrated library system and disk space for building digital libraries. They are promoting the use of Koha, the open source integrated library systems in India. This is done to help the libraries to match ahead in the internet era, serve their users with global resources for study, reference and research, and glow to be at par with the best libraries in the world. Delnet provide a Dell Plus software which has features like Mark 21 barcode application compatible for the all libraries provides free upgradation from time to time. The software designed and developed exclusively to work under all kinds of libraries. It provides free upgradation, follows internationally recommended standards and formats such as Mark 21, best for small and medium sized libraries which have collections up to 1 lakh holdings and as already mentioned it is barcode enabled. Delnet provides some of the very important and major services to the libraries of India especially to their member libraries and overseas member likes retroconversion, reference services, professional training and consortia services and any type of technical support required by the member libraries. Delnet occasionally also organize different type of training programs like implement how to implement Koha, how to implement DSpace and some other software along with in conjunction with other member libraries. So students let's now summarize what we have learned in this module. Delnet provides an array of facilities. It is the only network of India which has been actively engaged with the compilation of various union catalogs of resources available in the member libraries. Delnet's relentless of effort in resource sharing have provided extremely effectively it has indeed been a very leap towards the modernization of libraries in India. Future of Delnet is very promising. The Delnet databases are growing in number and size as a variety of information on South Asia libraries are becoming available through Delnet. It is expected that all the institutions outside India specializing in South Asian studies will take Delnet membership in future.